All right, well today on HOFBB Players, we'll be taking a look at the book, Catch a Star, which chronicles the life and basketball career of Tamika Catchings, who this year in 2020 is being inducted into the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame. So let's get started. My name is Mark Tully. I'm a basketball fan and a collector of autographed cards of Hall of Fame basketball players. My website, hofbbplayers.com, celebrates the best to ever play the game. All right, basketball fans, on Tully's 10 takeaways, I will share with you 10 of the most impactful things that I found within the pages of Catch a Star. So without further ado, let's get started. Number one, lost hearing aids. Tamika Catchings was born with moderate to severe hearing loss. When she was in grade school, she had to endure name calling and put downs from those kids that would tease her because she was different. She hated wearing the big box hearing aids that she had to have to hear what was going on around her. So one day, on the way home from school, she threw them away into a vacant lot. When she got home and her mother realized that they were missing, Tamika, her brother, sister, and mom went out looking for the missing hearing aids. Of course, they never did find them, although Tamika had an idea where they might have been located. Tamika went on to learn coping strategies. She focused her energy, she worked hard, and used her talents to succeed on the basketball court and in the classroom, despite her hearing loss and without the big box hearing aids that she hated to wear. Number two, basketball legacy. Tamika grew up in a basketball family. Her father, Harvey Catchings, played professional basketball in the NBA for 11 seasons for the 76ers, Nets, Bucks, and Clippers. After his NBA career ended, Harvey took his family and moved to Italy where he continued his professional basketball career. Tamika also had the opportunity to play with her older sister, Tauja, for several years in high school. During her sophomore year, she and Tauja combined to help lead Stevenson High School to the Illinois State Championship. Number three, Kobe Bryant in Italy. When Harvey Catchings took his family over to Italy to continue his professional basketball career, they spent a lot of time with one of his former 76ers teammates, Joe Jellybean Bryant, and his family. Well, as we all know by now, Joe Jellybean Bryant's son was Kobe Bryant, who became an NBA superstar. So it's amazing to think that when they were kids, Tamika Catchings and Kobe Bryant who are both entering the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame in 2020, spent time together with their families, and years later they would become two of the top basketball players in history. Number four, one day I'll be in the NBA. Tamika loved basketball. It was her passion and singular focus. The basketball court was the place that she felt the most comfortable out of any place in the whole world. When she was in seventh grade, Tamika wrote, One day I'll be in the NBA. And she posted that goal on her bathroom mirror where she saw her dream every day. Of course, when she wrote her goal, the WNBA did not exist yet. But when she graduated from college, she did get drafted into the WNBA and was paid to play the game that she loved. She went on to become one of the best professional basketball players in WNBA history. Number five, the Catching Sisters. Tamika and Tauja were tremendous basketball players who led Stevenson High School to the Illinois State Championship in 1994-95. Tauja was a junior that year and Tamika was a sophomore and they won the title game by 30 points. The press loved writing about the Catching Sisters, but there was one slight problem, and that was that Tamika wanted her own identity. She didn't want to be known as part of the Catching Sisters, she just wanted to be Tamika. And as much as she loved her sister, this was one of the factors that led her to make a decision 
that would change her life. Number six, being Tamika. Tamika's parents had previously divorced and her mother eventually decided to move to Texas. So Tamika had a decision. Did she want to stay in Illinois or move with her mother to Texas? She did want to have her own identity as Tamika and not just be one of the Catching Sisters. And so eventually she decided to move with her mother and she began to attend Duncanville High School in Texas. That year, her junior year, she led the team to a 29-2 record, although they lost in the areas, which is like the state quarterfinals. That same season, her sister Tauja led Stevenson High School to its second straight state championship. However, the next season, which was Tamika's senior season, she did bounce back and the team actually went all the way and won the Texas state title, giving Tamika two different state championships in two different states, one in Illinois and one in Texas. Number seven, Pat Summit. At the age of 13, Tamika saw the intensity with which Pat Summit coached the University of Tennessee Volunteers, her icy stare as she communicated a lot to her players without even speaking, and she knew that that was the type of coach that she wanted to play for. Eventually, she did get to go and play at Tennessee, and in her freshman year, she and three other freshmen teamed with Shamika Holtzclaw to form an incredible team that went 39-0 and and helped Pat Summit and the Volunteers to their third NCAA championship in a row. Number eight, back to Christ. Tamika had grown up going to church, but in November 1999, she attended a Wednesday night Bible study with some of her dorm mates. This is what she says. That was the night, I believe, I truly got saved, the night I made a decision to dedicate my life to Him. I realized that I'd made basketball the most important thing in my life. I knew deep down that I needed God to be in charge. This changed my perspective and my life, although I'd need to be reminded again and again how I'd taken the ball of my life, run with it on my own, and taken my own shots for my own glory. I knew I needed to acknowledge that God was the one truly in control. Not easy for a stubborn girl from Duncanville, Texas, but I let go of my life and let God into my life. Later she says, I think that's the story of life as well. Am I as an individual doing all I can do with what God has given me? We aren't competing against the people around us. It doesn't matter if we get the gold ring at the end of the season. It matters only if we've done the work and performed at the level God has given us opportunity to attain. We play for an audience of one, God, or at least we should. Number nine, dream come true. In seventh grade, Tamika had written, one day I'll be in the NBA and taped that goal onto her mirror. Well, in 1997, the WNBA was born. And so Tamika's goal changed to one day I'll be in the WNBA. She achieved her dream in 2001 when she was the third pick overall by the Indiana Fever in the 2001 WNBA draft. Unfortunately, because of a torn ACL, she missed her entire first season, but she returned strong in 2002, where she won the WNBA Rookie of the Year. She ended up playing her entire 15 season career with the Indiana Fever and won a championship with them in 2012 one of the greatest players to ever play in the WNBA. Her dream truly had come true. Number 10, what really matters. Tamika Catchings was a very successful WNBA basketball player. She won the 2012 WNBA championship with the Indiana Fever, got to meet President Barack Obama with her team, received tweets from sports celebrities, had many great opportunities, and even those championships and those great things, she would say, aren't what really matters. Later, at the end of the book, she's watching a young girl 
who is a participant in one of her Catch the Stars youth basketball camps. And she says, I look at that girl, so like myself years ago, and I wonder about her life ahead, her relationships, her family, and if she hears God in her life. You see, that's what really matters. What I admire about Tamika Catchings is that she was a great basketball player, one of the best ever. But it is really her faith in God and her love for others and her desire to make a difference in the lives of other people that sets Tamika Catchings apart. <laughs>